Mike. How are you? Fantastic. We have a lot of questions for you, but oh, before yay. we go to that, this is colorful. This is nice. Thank you. Yes, we manufacture all of it. Design and manufacture. Yes, we do. Thank you. So what are we doing here? Is anyone has a number for you? Junior? Yeah. Triple yeah. two. Yes, customized. I love triple numbers. Oh. This would be perfect for me uh, 30 years ago. Well, look at it. It's still your size. Uh, I don't think design is getting the justice it deserves. in Kenya and in Africa. Well, just to summarize it, because there's a lot we do, it's a children's brand. Um, this space at the moment is by no way showing all we have. Most of our stuff is actually at the factory. We really love children and we love safe products for children. Um, none of our products actually has nails in it. Um, as you can see, we don't do drop sides at all, at all. We don't do screws on the sides. Safety is key. Safety is absolutely key for our children. This is actually what we call our cuboid desks. It's very snug, you see, even your size, and then the child can put their books here, their pencils here, so they don't roll. Nice. Very easy to reach. Well, let's go talk about design. I have a lot of questions for you. Fantastic. Kushiro, from what I see, you look like an adventurous, creative, fun-loving individual, and extremely colorful. Well, I'm actually an interior architect who has then seen that there's absolutely no boundaries when it comes to design. It's okay. Um, I had a fashion label a few years ago and everybody was surprised because I did interiors, but it's all design. It's about texture, color, shape, form, and the function of it. So I have decided to embrace design holistically. And whatever needs to be designed, if I can, I will. What inspired you to go into design? I have known I will do design from when I was age nine. I knew I was born to do design-related areas. Let's talk a little about this gentleman, if he's a gentleman. Who's this? What's this? Again, Fun Kids. Um, Fun Kids is a children's brand, um, the first being created out of Africa. Right. So under Fun Kids, we have the Fun Kids furniture, which we just talked about, and then we have the Fun Kids tech. So he comes under Fun Kids tech. If we're pursuing a children's brand and we talk about creativity and making things, then I should be able to say we can also make a robot. He's not your most intelligent robot at the moment, though we have plans for that. So K is actually a teacher's assistant and a student's friend. So even the teacher, who through no fault of their own, has never seen the Indian Ocean, but is teaching a class, and you're learning about the tidal waves, etc., etc. They're able to project the lessons with sound, with emotion, and the children just stare wide-eyed. Yes, we'll have the textbooks, but he is, that's why I said an assistant, he is supporting that. Something you're doing that I find very amazing, it's called Kids Go Tech, and you mentioned it earlier. Why did you start Kids Go Tech? Kids Go Tech was started by myself and five children. The, the parents brought them not knowing what it was, but they believed in us for whatever reason. And we started in the parking lot of our offices. And we had children come in and they were actually making things by hand. And at the end of the lesson, children were so excited. The parents were amazed that, you mean my child understood what a circuit is. So for example here, what we have is the lifting jack. Mm -hmm. So you see, it lifts it. But what have they used? Just sticks, syringes, colored liquid. Let's say a burglar comes prancing along and he sets off the alarm, everyone will know he's there and well, um, he'll get caught, caught by the police and So um, really I've just come to find out how the kids are doing. Uh, I think we've taken, is it 30 or 40 of your children through our yes. Kids Go Tech program. That's right. Um, and I'm so excited when I usually mm. see them and the differences from when they first came, they were very shy. Mm. And the amazing letters they write to us at the end is so emotional. Mm. It really, oh. really is special to be here with you. you. So just to Thank find you. out um, from your end, mm. you, you run this amazing mm. school. Um, what changes have you seen in the children? How can we help you more? Mm -hmm. um, we, we are looking to raise more funds. Mm -hmm. How do we help the children of um, mm -hmm. Kibagare 
mm -hmm. um, village, the ones in um, Kangemi. Mm -hmm. How do we work together yeah. to just this innovation for Africa, mm -hmm. for children, regardless of where they live or where they come from? Yes. How yeah. do we do this together? First of all, I like you to continue to do that program. Thank you. Then encourage more children to come yeah. and then enjoy to find out the world what not just don't limit their life or knowledge what they're only seeing but from in their mind or their heart they can make something new so i really appreciating you she wrote inviting us for kids to go tech because i sh i'm sure other children are paying 1000 per session or 2000 per session and then uh, you accommodate 10 children for four, five, six sessions. That's a big support for us. My name is Joshua Bru. My school is Koinone Education Center. I came to Kids Go Tech in season two. I mostly enjoyed making the intruder detector. I simply took two boxes and two aluminum foils. While I was there, I made a lemon battery and I made a disco light. My name is Alex Mwavi. After Kids Go Tech, I had gotten the knowledge to help myself and also help my neighbors and my community by, by trying ma making a, a laser toy in our home. I'd build, this is our home, and this is where I come to do my homework. And here is the door. I'd put here a laser trip wire, and also in the laser trip wire, I'd put in each corner, I'd put buzzers, and here a doorbell, which, which has many types of ringtones. When yes. will you give the teacher the list? Um, even tomorrow. Please tomorrow. give her by tomorrow. Uh. Then when can we come to your house? Any day, any day you want. You tell like me. on Saturday. On Saturday is a good day to come. Yes. Then we see how you're building, isn't it? Yes. Very well done. Keep dreaming. Keep yeah, dreaming. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to evacuate like a helmet? Come on, we shall do like an engineer or a co engineer. Today we are here to visit Alex. He is from Koinonia Primary School and he's come to Kids Go Tech Season 2 when we're looking at Nairobi 2050. Now Alex has taken what we have looked at in terms of the solutions he wants to solve for the Nairobi that he lives in today. Today we are at his home here in Kangemi and he's talked about the solutions that he wants to see for his family. Security, lighting, all the nice things that little boys like him envision for their homes and for the future. Alex is why we do what we do as Kids Go Tech. We are so amazed by what he has learned. He's a young engineer in the making. He's an innovator already and he has taught us what it is to look at in terms of innovation with new eyes. Martha, what do you think about what you've done in Kids Go Tech so far? I am amazed at what a big impact six sessions um, on, on six Saturdays can do in terms of reaching out and reaching wide into the communities. So even as we hold Kids Go Tech sessions every um, three times a year, it's very easy for us to be caught in the clockwork of just having this session, forgetting what impact it has. I'd like yes. to learn more math, math. Mm -hmm. even if it's much difficult, mm -hmm. I learn it and also sounds, yes. So that eventually, what would you like to use that for? For my engineering yes. and for my research. So you'd like to learn science and math so that you can get into engineering? Yes, and computer. And computing. Mm -hmm. You'd like to be using computers a lot? Yes, even in school we learn. Currently you learn computers? Yes, daily. Okay. Thank you very much for bringing us to your house. Indeed. Yes. And we wish to see you in April when we do the next Kids Go Tech session. Uh, see you soon. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Safaricom. And thank you, thank Fantastic Women Fun Technology. Yeah. Fantastic. It's been this amazing. Is, this is the change Africa needs. Yes. So proud. So humbling. It starts from our homes. So humbling.
Yeah. And we must continue doing what we're doing. We Forever must. and ever. <laughs> <laughs>